Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman and Lois Season 1. Today we're going to be breaking down the brand new trailer that just dropped last night for Superman and Lois. So sorry that this video is coming out a bit late, but we were streaming last night and so wasn't able to put out a video. But this is my trailer breakdown. We're going to be breaking down everything shot by shot throughout this trailer. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Now, first shot, let's go right ahead and get into this and I'm super excited to talk about it because it's a really good trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so the first shot is of a farm and, you know, it's a nice sunset and we can reasonably assume this is in Smallville somewhere, probably the Kemp farm. Okay, so then you cut to the next shot, which is supposedly after their wedding or during their wedding. And so Clark and Lois are there with their family. They're celebrating. Clark is holding Lois. And the voice overlay talks about severe anxiety with teens, their marriage, and then, you know, starting a family together. It didn't turn out, or they wouldn't think it was going to turn out like this. And, you know, them losing jobs. We'll get to that in just a second. So that's kind of the overall themes of this trailer. So it's a lot about their family. Okay, so moving on to the next shot, you've got Clark and Lois, they're kissing. So it's a nice tender moment, I guess, probably at their wedding. And then you go on to the bit about jobs. So they're in the Daily Planet, and it seems like Clark has probably lost his job. I'm not sure about Lois, because I've got a feeling that she's going to stay on, even though they are moving to Smallville from Metropolis. And I'm still a bit kind of questioning why they moved it all to Smallville. I know they wanted to do with the teenagers and the kids, but I would say the most important thing and the most interesting thing about Superman and Lois is their life in Metropolis and them superheroing around rather than just protecting Smallville. I feel like it would be better if it was Metropolis like our other Arava shows like The Flash protecting Central City or Supergirl protecting National City, Green Arrow protecting Star City or Starling City as it was once known. So I'm still a bit up in the air about that. I'm still up in the air about how the hell they're going to explain their two kids who are now teenagers and they only had a baby during Crisis. So is this because of Crisis? I don't think so. I think they've just completely retconned and I think they're retconning quite a lot from what happened with Supergirl and in the crossovers in the past. So it's kind of weird because the Arrowverse does tend to actually stick to continuity most of the time, but this seems very different so I'm still wrapping my head around these kids being you know proper teenagers and so you see them and you know it talks about kids with severe anxieties so I guess we'll get to that and then lost parents this is Clark's parents and then after this we move on to this title card says from the creators of The Flash I believe Todd Helbing is actually show running the show so you know, that's exciting. There you got people from The Flash coming over and sort of starting this new Superman show. So then you move on, you got the Kemp farm, you got the letterbox, and you can see their farm in the background. Then you got them smiling, cuddling together. It's a really cool shot. And, you know, overall, I think the trailer looks nice. They have changed the aspect ratio, so it's different from the CW shows. It's the same as Stargirl. So what they've done is basically just shot in a different ratio, meaning that it's not the normal 16 by 9 television format that you normally get with The Flash or Supergirl. So it looks more cinematic because that's how a lot of films, well, blockbuster films shoot nowadays. They shoot in a wider aspect ratio, but it also compresses the top and bottom. That's why you get black bars. So if you're wondering what was happening there, that's why and also they're using different lenses they're using anamorphic lenses that's why in the background like in this shot of Clark you get to see the background is kind of blurred out but it's vertically out of focus and I'm pretty sure that is the reason why people are saying it's more cinematic and I think it looks cool but yeah so hopefully that kind of wrapped up why people are saying it looks cinematic it's because they've made a few different choices that films normally do as opposed to TV. But yeah, in the shot, we see Clark and he is outside of his house and he is talking to this general, or this major. I'm not sure what rank he is. I don't know the character. You guys can clarify in the comics. I'm pretty sure it may be someone like Major Lane, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% on that. 
Then we move on and we get the introduction of the main villain. And so the main villain is supposed to be an alternate version of Lex Luthor, who is known as the Stranger in the comics. And so in this shot, you get a bunch of kryptonite and it would make sense because Lex is known for always having kryptonite. So this version of Lex, the Stranger, is from another Earth and it was due to Crisis that he was led here supposedly and he was displaced and that is how he got here and he didn't die due to Crisis. And so I think this is his version of the Lexo suit that is very battered up. You can see it's all torn apart and it's quite green even though it's dimmed down because I think, you know, it's been worn out. So maybe that's due to his travels or him fighting all over the place. Anyway, so you go over back to the Kent family farm and Clark is here. He's saying, oh, I wish I could get drunk sometimes. It seems like, you know, because of his superhero stuff, he can't do that. And so I guess he's wishing for a more normal life. And, you know, a lot of this, again, is about the family and their anxieties. Then we move on to a cool shot where we get to see our first moving look at Clark in the new Superman suit. And it looks awesome. You can see his cape, his suit. I think the color looks really nice. And then he's in the outer atmosphere in this following shot. And this is the shot that people have been kind of obsessing over because it kind of reminds of some past Superman shots we've seen before. So, you know, he can breathe out here and he is in the middle of a fight because it cuts to this close up and then he shortly after turns around and he's being attacked by supposedly the stranger or it could be a villain of the week. But I'm going to presume it's the stranger because Superman and Lois only has 13 episodes. I don't think they have a bunch of time to do filler episodes and bring in villains of the week like The Flash and Supergirl and everything. I feel like because of their time schedule with them having shorter episodes, it's going to be a bit different. So also remember episode 1 and episode 2 are premiering together February 23rd on The CW. And apparently the first episode was like 60 minutes long. And then apparently the next one's like half an hour long, so it's a bit strange, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are February 23rd. And remember, March 2nd, The Flash is coming out instead at its normal time, and it's not going to be delayed any further than that. But remember, if you're watching this still right now, remember we're going to be covering Superman and Lois as the seasons go on. Because, you know, it's a Supergirl spin-off after all and Supergirl is going away. So my intent is to make Superman and Lois videos very regularly and make it a new thing. Okay, so yeah, a really cool shot of Superman here. His cape flies in the air. There's fire all around flickering in the foreground and his new suit looks great. My one complaint when the CW releases trailers, they always tend to put it out in not very good quality. And hence, it's hard to get an HD look at this at his full suit because it's so far away and it's very pixelated. Also, during the trailer, we find out that his sons find out that he is Superman. They say we've seen Superman like a bunch of times and then I presume they're going to continue on to say, but like, how are you Superman? Why wouldn't you tell me? And... This is the one part of the show that I'm not sure about because, like I said, I feel a bit weird that they've just time jumped and kind of just completely ignored continuity by making them older in the first place. But also the sort of daddy drama kind of aspect of it, like, oh no, you never told me that you were Superman, like, you were just doing it to protect you, so get over it, I guess. But that's just my thoughts on that. And then you got Lois comforting Clark as he says, am I a bad father? And I believe after this conversation, he proves that he is Superman because in this shot on the bottom left, even though you can't see it because I had to, you know, change the aspect ratio, but the kids are there with Lois at the bottom left of the screen and Clark is there lifting up their truck and it seems like he's just showing them. Then you get the reaction shot of the two kids and so they're reacting to seeing their dad flying in the sky. Then we have this shot, which is very cool, and it's a lonely looking Superman who seems pretty much kind of lost in this situation as he is far away. And then you've got supposedly the stranger who is using some sort of technology, some sort of weapon out of a gauntlet, and he fires it at a bunch of people. I don't know who these people are, but they all get flung back in this room. Then you've got Clark using his freeze breath in the middle of the night. So something's happened here. He is putting maybe a fire out. And then you have Lois looking cool at the Kent farm. And again, Clark smiles. He's got someone with him. Maybe it's still at this kind of family kind of barbecue thing that they've got going on. 
But yeah, so that is about it for the trailer breakdown. Superman Lois premieres with a two hour event on February 23rd. Remember guys, we are going to be covering Superman and Lois week to week from February 23rd onwards. So please be sure to tick that bell notification button so you get reminded every time a Superman and Lois video drops. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment on this video and give me your thoughts as the trailer. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.